Hello everybody, I am December and welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry already, <laughs> this is new year and this channel has just started and I already took like a week off and away. Partly because I became pretty ill, I don't know what it was, it was like mild fever, mild just sore throat and just feeling crummy altogether I guess. And then also coming to think of the idea that I just, I wasn't sure what I needed to do with my channel. Um, it's obviously just started and I, I really like just uploading for having fun, but the thing is I also have fun doing a lot of different things. Um, so there's gameplay. I actually really love art and I am starting to get into doll customization. Um, so there's a lot of things I really like. So it's like, I was confused, I guess, on if I really um, wanted to just start uploading games, like would it trap me in that? And I guess I realized the answer is no, that I could branch off and do whatever because it's it's my channel. So I can figure out if this is something I like. I could do vlogs later. I can continue playing games and not just have to do games. But also for now, I wanted to play something a little different um, other than Star Stable. I actually had filmed a Star Stable video with the update of some of their new horses, but decided just kind of to go against uh, posting it just because I wasn't feeling it. I honestly just was not liking that video or the content, so I decided this week we'd start with some niche. So I don't think this will be like the full gameplay that we use. Uh, we might play this clan, tribe, whatever, but... I just kind of, it's been a while since I've played Niche, so I'd really like to just get back into knowing how it works. Um, and then we might start a whole new tribe or anything, or stick with this one, but we will hit play. Yeah, see, I actually have games from when this started, but I really don't remember anything about them. So, I don't also know how to delete them, so if anyone knows how to delete them, let me know. But we'll start with a new game. And experience the story of Adam recommended for new players. We could do that actually, just because it's been a while, but I also kind of want to pick my world. Um, and we'll do easy islands because I still do want to get back into it and I have no idea how to. Um, let's go with this guy. I don't know what it'd be like. Um, we'll see. Oh, it says it's for experienced players? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. Choose your start island for experienced players. That It says that for where, wherever I click, I guess. So tiny green, peaceful meadow, grass adventure, and archipelago? I, I don't know. But why don't we start with this one and see if we can survive for a little bit. How about it? Also, very sorry for that incredibly long intro. Just felt like I had to, I don't know, I like talking to you guys, so might as well explain what's on my mind and just go with it. But yeah, so that was the main holdup. Sickness mixed with just feeling like already like, am I going to get trapped in something I don't want to do? Which is silly, I know, but I don't know. I don't know how this would go or anything, but just going to go with it and use it like as an outlet for fun and all that while this world is creating. I guess I really love creative outlets and seeing these videos on YouTube of people doing so many things that make them happy is just really nice like escape. And oh it's kind of loud in the game. I'm not sure for you guys but let's check out our Adam and Eve guys. So we have Lara. So she is our equivalent to our Eve. She's actually pretty fast. Has something in swimming but like not really good at collecting, and I'm used to Eve being like the collector, but she's actually a really good fighter and fisher. Uh, really good fertility. And let's see, what's this actually? Scentless? No, no. I'm not sure. And she's A and B. And what are you, our little Venero? You are C and D. And it looks like neither of you are our berry pickers, which I kind of want to get because it's kind of difficult. Ooh, do we have a, 
The launch island is so far away. Oh, we could do that one. This is... Sorry for, like, the super loud clicking. I know it's obnoxious. Uh, this will be very interesting. All right. Let's see if we can get Eve to travel. I want her to travel, but I don't want her to scare the fish. Oh, there we go. All right. And we'll have Adam start, like, exploring and getting his food. And, it, you know, it's always slow when you first start because... We only have two of these guys to start with. Let's see, I have no idea what direction I want to take this pack. I know I just want them to survive. That would be nice. Is this the button I used to follow when we go to bed? Nope, that was not it. I think it's this one. Yes. Okay. Figuring it out. Sorry if you hear the little feet. That's my dog Pixel. He likes to rummage around. Oh, see, we got a berry bush. Okay, you tried cracking it twice. Oh, what is that? That's a leech. Correct. Correct. And we don't want to mess with those guys at all. So, but I guess they make food. So that's exciting. Um,. I'm sorry, like I don't, I know I want, I want babies. I want baby Adams and Eve or Laura and Van Ro, but I want them to survive. Again, look, we're already at 21 food because I'm not collecting food fast enough. But I also want them to expand, ex expand, blah, expand their territory and their resources before they have pups. I don't know if it would be cubs or pups for these guys, but I'm guessing it would be pups. That's just my assumption. I have no idea truly, but that's my guess. I wish I knew how to make my mouse quieter, but I have this very cute and adorable strawberry mouse, but it's just gonna make those clicky noises, guys, until I have a microphone and right now, just not investing in one right now. You know, you start small and work up. Well, this is a much slower pace than I thought, but this is nice because I get to talk to you guys about, I guess, everything, which is another thing I just would like to do. So basically, um, as I was mentioning, I just have a lot of interests I like, like a lot of things that make me happy, which is what I want this channel to be. Something that kind of makes me happy and things I like and just kind of sharing that. So it's those can be like sweet little video games or art, especially little art or video games of animals because I love animals or creatures. I find that adorable all the time. Um, I've always loved animals, so it's kind of just a favorite of mine. And oh, oh. We've met someone. Can I look at your stats before I invite you? Well, berry picker. What are your genes? Your F and C. I want you to join. Oh, there was a thing there. Didn't see that, but let us try this. Look at you. That's awesome. Okay, good job, Laura. Finding a partner. I feel like she might be kind of threatened even because this here's an R female and she hasn't even had any babies with Vanor yet. Vanor or however. And she can because she is F and C and he is C and D. She is A and B. See, we kind of actually want as many different gene types as possible early on. Oh my goodness. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. Right there. Wow. That's new. Like, that's just rare. I never just stumble across two at once. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And another male. Okay, I've never had 
this many newcomers come in with my first pair. Basically, it's always like the second. And he's he's an older boy. So he's B and E. You are F and D, F and C, A and B. So we don't want you two together. But are your jeans even like something I want? It's not bad. It's better fertility than it's both of you two, right? Who have low fertility? I don't know. There's... It's now a matter of just collecting a bunch, but now we have a few berry bushes. Um, I'm now just curious of what else they'll find, because that's amazing that they found another male so quickly. Like I said, though, we do want more genes and members into the tribe. So what I think I'll have them do is these guys breed. And his name is Kirvan, which is a common name for this game. And Lanias, Laniasi and Ariansi. Sierra, I can, I can never, I'm really bad at their names always. Can I like edit them? I believe you can. Let's see. Ah, it's here. I want to name her Annie. Annie Boo. I like it. <laughs> it's so cute. Annie Boo. It's not very threatening at all, but it's adorable and I like it. It looks okay. Do you guys see right? I was going to point at my screen like you could see where my hand was. But right here where my mouse is, doesn't that marking just kind of look like a bird in flight? I think it looks like a bird just taking off. So we're actually going to name you bird. I wasn't going to name you bird, but then that marking up close just looks like a bird. So bird it is. Okay. So here is our tribe right now. Wow. They're a good looking bunch. I gotta say, I'm not mad at them. Not mad at our lot. But I'm actually going to have you go here and... I didn't mean for them to run out of turns. I actually was going to help them breed, but another day for exploration and to gather up food. Also, if we could find a nest, that would be awesome. I'd rather not build a nest right now. Let's see, actually. And there's a lot of roots up here that I want Von Roe to dig up. And a mole. Okay, so good to know. But we'll have you do this. And you're actually pink. I thought you were more of just a red, but you are pink, Kirvan, aren't you? And it looks like we're at the base of the tree. And we have now found more bushes. So this looks like where first gen is going to take place. And did he actually pass away? He did. He was an older man, but. We have his genes, which is always a good thing. Like I said, more genes the better, really, honestly. It's just how it is. Um, you know, we are going to have you collect this berry and actually build a bush, or not a bush, a nest where you sit. Because might as well have the first baby and I'm not able to find any other nesting materials yet. And hopefully, like, us collecting this grass is kind of helping us. <sighs> we don't have enough nesting materials. Can I, like, use that and then make you a nest? I can. Resourcing. There's, it's not enough, like, at all. But, hopefully... And so who do we have here? So he got his dad's like pink coat mixed with orange. So it's Kudik gear. But I'm also going to rename you. And you look like Sonic with your hair. But I want to name you something after your fire. So we'll just go with flame. 
I know I'm very creative with this name, but I want them to be things I can remember and know. So we're sticking with flame. And who do you have, Mom? We're going to also take your nest. But who's your baby? Takaruno? I don't know a good combination name for you guys, so I'm going to leave it actually right now and have Dad keep exploring because there's food over here and he knows it. And this little girl is going to keep collecting her food source that she's really good at collecting. And you're actually able to start setting off as well. And rain, which is the best thing to see because all the berries come back most of the time. And in this case, today, they definitely did. And we really needed that. And what is his skill actually? So he has two collecting, three movement. Your genes are D and E. So it's not bad. And he is, we have two males in our second generation so far. So it'll be exciting to see what comes next for these guys for sure. Um, I want them to have another pup too before they pass away because I wanted them to establish themselves, yes, but I also need them to have a line to carry on or else that defeats the purpose and then your species goes extinct. So that's not what we want at all. And we don't have enough nesting material. Cool, so I'm gonna keep you there and Adam, or not, I keep wanting to call you Adam, but you're just our version of Adam Monroe. Is going to search as well I think everyone is because we want to be able to have those pups healthy strong pups but I am not seeing a nest and it would really help because we need the nesting material oh we do have nesting material we have 15 so she should be able to build a nest yes perfect okay cool I still would love them to find a natural nest and I'm actually going to have you guys have a baby as well because again more genes the better and right now that is our main goal especially you know if we don't have a female that could kind of be a problem oh speak of the devil Look at that, a lovely female. She's definitely like a large body, H and E. And she is just a young sprout like our young males. And we want her to join us. Laura left twins and that is the saddest thing ever. She left two baby girls. And did you not become pregnant either? Or did you become pregnant? You did become pregnant. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I feel like you'll go over here and you're just looking over her babies and you know your babies are going to pass away as well soon. So we'll need to really start taking care of the young pups because they don't have much time left at all. This is so sad. <laughs> All right, so we are going to hurry past this day. I'm actually going to move each of the little ones who we will name probably next time. And she will sit here in honor of the one who has passed. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. They passed away so quickly. Oh goodness. We just want food because we have little ones to take care of. Exploring, of course, also very important, but our priority is also raising a strong and healthy line. And I think Bird is going to pass away, actually, 
that she will leave a baby. Yes. Oh no. Uh, okay. So not what I wanted at all, but Bird's baby is sick. So we are going to move these two away. And I feel like we're going to have to banish her because she's actually double C immunity. All right, guys. Well, that's that's fun. We have started. We have lost our first generation. I think the last first generation is Annie Boo. And she kind of looks over them all. And we have a full pack of just second generation babies. And one of them is sick. So that is nice. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is a lot of fun already. So I'll stop this one here and I think we'll do another video of Niche next time. So have a good day lovelies. Bye!